Welcome back. This is shale dirt from our property. It's a lot of rock in that, but I've been grinding it up to put some ground cover as a base of the mountain or the hill. These are rocks that came in that dirt. Lots of different color variations here. And I don't know if you can pick that up on video, but this is what I've been working on. This is the forest floor cover. But this is the first base coat and I got to about this point because I still have to blend all this in. But that's the forest floor up the hill there. And of course, there's gonna be variations and colors as it goes. And it's also, it's not the base. You still have the forest carpet. I, what do they call it? The forest carpet of old leaves and debris and rocks and bushes and logs and things like that. So it's not like I'm just gonna stick some trees in there. I still have to work on all this rock here. But this is that rock, and I don't know if I want to call it shale or not, but I think that's what it is. Or the look I'm going for. And it doesn't look bad. This is actually ceiling tile. It's that stuff cut off in strips. But this is some of that shale rock, and I picked some of the better examples. And that's kind of the look we're going to go for. So I put a base coat on this, and that's khaki. And I even got it on some of the... I don't know what you call that, hairy parts of it, the, the fibers and things. Bushes and stuff will be in there. Weeds will be growing up and down. Vines will be hanging over. But I'm trying to simulate something, something like that. But we're gonna let that dry a little bit, then I'm gonna air, um, not airbrush, dry brush some stuff on there. See what it looks like. All right, I'm not gonna show you a close up just yet, but I finished weathering the track, blended in some of the rocks, add the dirt to the upper part and the lower part, and now I'm in the process of getting ready to ballast the track. All right, we have the inspection train just came through. So I got all the rocks pretty much done. It's time to start adding the weeds and details and things like that. Yes, I painted the fascia here, just a, just a base coat, because I wanted to see what it looked like in black. But I'm ready to put some weeds and grasses and vines and start some trees. Now, just to show you. Now, these are some pictures that I printed out. Some of them are mine, and some I got from the internet, just for reference. I'm not doing anything with them, just trying to model the reference there and i believe these are from trains.com if not that one is from the west virginia historical archives website but this is the kind of rock and this, this is a little bit lighter than what i chose but that kind of rock and if you look here this is down i want to say that's on the clinchfield i shot that on the clinchfield but it's a close-up of a wider shot but see how that looks with all the beautiful greenery and everything in there vines bushes weeds things like that this is up on that's Grandfather Mountain, I believe, when I was up there. This is the Narrows up in near Cumberland. This is the B&O in Western Maryland, the passage it takes through there. But that's a more of a lighter color rock there. And although I do like that, it's kind of not what I was going after. But check this out. This is what I had in mind when I, when I built this. Not necessarily this photo, but check this out. Now look at that. See, something like, something like that, that that look there where you have the, this big rock face and the train comes around the curve, big rock face. And I believe this is actually a Western Maryland photo and it might be on the Black Fork Grade. So my buddy's out there that are modeling the Black Fork Grade. This is kind of the, the inspiration I had where it comes around like that. And then if you go over here, you can kind of, you can kind of get the idea. Now I know this is the Black Fork Grade, but and again, I believe this came from trains.com or one of those magazine websites. And I just printed it out as a reference photo. But you can kind of get the idea of how you have their wall there. And then you get the trees going up the hill, that, that sort of thing. It's interesting. And this came out pretty good. 
It's gonna be nice once I add all the details in here, but this is the basics. And I don't know what, what you call this rock. I'm, I'm guessing it's like a shale or uh, sandstone or something like that. Somebody can tell me. I don't know. It just it just looks right for what I'm doing. And again, I mentioned that this rock doesn't necessarily match that rock and it wouldn't necessarily be in the same location. But this is a small shelf layout and I have to kind of compress everything. So this might have a different diorama effect where you're shooting photos there against the wall. And same thing with here, if you're shooting way up like that, you know, looking way up. I'm making these trees out of these weeds. They're, they're almost like this. And I don't know what they're called. But I break them apart and glue them together into these smaller trees. And these smaller trees can go up towards the front of the layout, like growing out of the cliff, that sort of thing. They're meant to be really small. Well, I have to say, I'm really embarrassed. Because usually I clean up, but I had to keep running up front and doing stuff. But anyway, it turned out to be a good day here in the shop. All this is base. I got to mix it in with some leaves and all that stuff. But I did want to get some greenery started. And I did that up against the backdrop. All those trees up there were the quick trees I made in a previous video. And those were for the spruce cullen timber layout. And they were in the fall colors and I stripped them down and kind of put some new stuff on. But I wanted the older trees to be towards the back because, you know, they've, they've, they're pretty old. But as you can see, they don't look too bad. The tops are what I wanted to kind of blend in with the greenery over here in the backdrop. And I think I've accomplished that. But as far as the foliage here, it's a start. These are a couple of new trees that I did. And I got to touch them up and stuff. But really, I wanted to get something in there. Get it started. The rocks look pretty good. I blended in some rubble. I gotta go back through it and add some dust and darken it down and things like that. But the basic scenery is rolling right along here. And the reason I started here is because, well, I wanted to. But I wanted to get those up. I wanted to get those up there. And I gotta make a few more for this side. But it's easier for me to kind of get an idea of what I'm doing if I start the scenery close. And these trees are small because they're growing out of the hillside. So the new trees I'm going to do are going to go up in this, what it looks like a field kind of. And I got to add in all the, you know, down trees and old leaves and bushes and weeds and stuff like that. But I wanted to get something going and I wanted to keep moving. And that's what I have so far. So if you want to know how to make these trees, watch the quick trees video here on the channel. And these are smaller than the ones I did for the other layout. They were big and bushy and I did those because I had a lot of area to fill in. And here, it's kind of the same thing, but I don't think there's as many trees on this one as there are on the other one. Or I should say were, because there is no R.